They want their loved one to be remembered, not the woman who killed him. Just days after a courtroom confrontation with the drunk driver who killed Dr. Najee K. Ruse, the doctor's family sat down to talk about their loss, whether they feel justice was served, and about the pain of losing someone to a drunk driver. I wear his uh, wedding ring around my neck every single day. For Anthony K. Ruse, it is a constant reminder of his father. A ring and these snapshots that show what a drunk driver took away. We have all these memories and we have all these reminders, but what do they do? It reminds us that we don't want memories. We want my dad. Sandra Vasquez K. Ruse lost her husband of 25 years. Anthony, his father. Walid lost his twin brother. A roadside crash, a swerving drunk driver. Dr. Najee Kheroos struck as he was riding in a bicycle lane. A renowned robotic surgeon, an avid cyclist, a loved one lost. You don't find men like this. You know, they're very, very rare, kind, um, talented, um, giving. Uh, he, he loved surgery. Oh my gosh, he loves surgery. This is, you learn how to deal with the pain, but only you learn how to deal with the pain. The pain does not go away. You take the pain with you, everywhere. They are the emotions they carried with them into a Bear County courtroom, face to face with Melissa Peoples, who in February of 2019 shattered their world. The family says her blood alcohol level that night, two and a half times the legal limit. He saved lives, you took a life. He would have stopped and rendered aid. You left the scene and tortured us for three years until the deadline of a plea bargain. Melissa Peoples agreed to a plea bargain, a guilty plea in exchange for 15 years in jail, eligible for parole in less than four. The K. Ruse family doesn't agree with the deal. This permeated the whole community, cycling, Lebanese, medical, and I mean, I, I'm just disappointed. So behind the closed doors here at the Justice Center, how does a plea bargain work? Are the victim's family's wishes taken into consideration? Should they be? We always reach out to the victims to get their input. Uh, that's not the final determination in terms of what kind of a, a plea bargain offer we will make, but certainly their input is very important to us. But the district attorney says his office is always looking to improve. He's also very clear when it comes to drunk driving crashes causing the death of an individual, the laws need to be changed and the punishment increased for the K. Ruses and others like them. This is a heart-wrenching situation. And my heart goes out to, to the family because nothing obviously that we do is ever gonna bring the doctor back. I hope people don't hear this story and then flip to the next channel and go on with their day. If anything, I hope people can just take a second from their day and think about what this loss means, what it would mean if they were in our shoes and try and internalize that in their daily life. Take a second, think about what if you were in their shoes. So when Melissa Peoples is eligible for parole and when she gets parole, maybe two very different things. The district attorney tells me, according to the parole board, people who have been convicted of the same crime that she has usually serve 75 to 80% of their sentence, meaning Peoples may be eligible in less than four years, but most convicted of similar crimes serve at least 10 years of their sentence.